everyone, welcome back to Schleich Stables, and I'm in front of the camera today, crazy, I know. Um, so today's video is going to be something a little bit different, it is going to be a filming tips and tricks video. So um, I've really been wanting to do this for a while, I just, I've been so busy, um, and I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, so I'm going to be just kind of showing you some of the things I do to make my videos, um, and some suggestions I have um, to improve your videos, and um, any little tricks I use to make my videos better. Um, so that's what this is going to be. And yeah. Uh, but first, uh, this is for anyone who has ordered off my Etsy shop. So if you haven't, uh, feel free to just skip to the video. Uh, but if you have, um, uh, it has come to my attention that it might be a little unclear on how to do the clasps. So I thought I would just make a short video showing you how to do it. So here I have uh, one of my Schleich horse blankets. Um, so, and I also have cinnamon here to model it for us, so I'm just going to tilt the camera up a little bit. Uh, so first you're just going to put it on like this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fold this side over, so it should overlap a little bit. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to take the piece of ribbon and you're going to slide it through both of the jump rings. So you're going to slide it through both, just like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull it through. And then you're going to separate the two jump rings like this. And you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to slide it back through the second one. Like this. And so it will secure it. And your blanket should overlap in the front for it to look best. And then you do the other one the same way. So you just take your ribbon slide it through both rings, slide it through both, pull it tight, separate um, the two rings like this, like this, and then you're going to fold it over the top one and slide it back down just through the bottom one. And then it will secure just like that. Okay, so now on to the video. So it's actually raining outside, um, so sorry if there's any uh, background noise. Um, but first I wanted to start with lighting. So I find that Schleich videos are most enjoyable uh, when they have good lighting. And so I keep my table, I have this one and I have another one down here. I keep them by this window and it's a big window and it lets in lots of natural light. So even if um, I can't use my ring light or a lamp or whatever I use, um, it just gives a natural light. I always feel like it's just best. And like, even it casts really nice, um, like sun rays, like on a sunny day, it'll kind of shine on the tables and it just helps it look a lot more realistic. And then as far as like my ring light goes, I uh, had a ring light and my rabbit chewed up the cord. Uh, so that one doesn't work anymore. So right now I am using a lamp and I will show you that lamp. Okay, so this is what the lamp I use for filming right now looks like. Um, it's just like a little reading lamp, um, but I can turn the um, head and make it um, move, which is why I'm using it. Uh, but, oh yeah, I do miss my ring light. It had different colors and everything, but it's okay. I'll get a new one. But for now, this is my temporary one. So if you don't have a ring light, something like this works great or... Um, I mean, honestly, you could use a flashlight would potentially work, but all I'm saying is just go for the best, the brightest lighting, because I feel like that is what makes the videos look the best. Second thing I want to talk about is your sound. So sound, um, you don't have to have like a speaker or anything like that. I just would um, recommend that you keep your sound or you film in a very quiet space. Just wait till there aren't a lot of people, like no people talking in the background or um, I don't know, no animals, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I would I would just recommend you try and keep your background quiet because that will um, give you the best uh, background and make it easiest to hear your videos and make them more realistic. Another thing that improves your sound is when you're editing, adding in background noises that would be present. So like a dog barking or a horse neighing in the, or a bird chirping or something like that. And it really does make it more realistic and help it seem more like a, um, like a real film. 
Next thing I want to talk about is your background. So background is important because if even if you make the most beautiful Schley course video, if it has a bunch of stuff or trash in the background, it's just not going to look the same. Uh, you don't have to have fancy barns or fake grass like I have. Um, I recommend over like hardwood or even like a table surface over carpet. Just personally, that's my preference. Uh, but just cleaning up your background makes a huge difference, even if it's not like a like a perfectly realistic setup. The last tip I have is using a phone stand or a camera stand uh, because there is nothing worse than a shaky camera when you're trying to make a movie because if the camera's doing this and you're trying to film, it's just not the same realism. So um, I'm holding my phone right now, but I'm just going to show you the phone stand that I use. Um, so I use this and it's just a little folding phone stand, uh, but let me get it unfolded. So it works just like this. And so I can reposition it however I want. Um, and my, you just set my phone right here. Um, I do film with my phone, I don't have a camera, uh, but my phone's camera works pretty well, so I just stick with that. And so see, I'm gonna put my phone in it, and then it gives me a really nice, steady camera. So um, I definitely recommend either just balancing your phone somewhere or um, getting a phone stand uh, just to keep your camera uh, nice and steady. As far as tricks go, um, I'm gonna show you two of my favorites for filming. Uh, one being how to easily keep a rider on and not have them just fall off while you're trying to film. And the other is actually how to do tears. Uh, so let me show you how to do those. So my first and probably favorite trick for keeping riders on while I'm filming is uh, clear rainbow bloom bands or clear hair ties. These are a lifesaver. When you're trying to film and the rider keeps falling off, all you have to do is hook it around their legs and under the horse's stomach and it will keep them on and they will not fall off. Here's an example. So here's a rider. This one doesn't have a clear rubber band on. Um, I'm moving it around and she falls. Oh, and see, that one fell too. Crazy. But if I add the rubber band, so as you can see, it's hooked um, over her foot, under the horse's stomach, over her other foot. Um, it's clear hair tie, it's barely noticeable, and she's not coming off. I mean, you can see the person is not coming off. So this next one is going to be how to do Schleich horse tears. Uh, so for this, you're going to need a um, some water and a paintbrush. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to dip your paintbrush in the water like this, and then try to get a droplet on the end of it. And then you're gonna get your horse and then I would start filming here. I just put a little bit on her eye. And then as you can see, it makes a little tear and it rolls down her face. And then all you have to do is trim the part. Boop. Um, then all you have to do is just trim the part where you put it on out of the video and it looks like a tear. So those are all of the filming tips and tricks I have for you today. I hope these helped you out. Um, and if you have any other questions, just ask me in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time. Bye!